project we are finally done yay this one took a little extra time because in the beginning of the project we bought like five houses in, in one week and it really swamped us and so we actually tried an as is auction with this one we auctioned off a multi uh, like two properties if you followed us we did that on periscope and and we really we went to both auctions and anyway we had one here the other property went amazing what it sold for um, but this one we just didn't didn't cut the mustard so we weren't able to make a deal at the auction and then we commenced work so if you follow this project you know that the outside is just amazing um, I love this seafoam green color this all came together this was a dark red the whole walkway was a dark red and the house was white so we're going with the vintage style come on in I just love the way this came out. If you followed this project, then you'd be blown away too. Um, this is the only thing we salvaged was this ceiling fan in the house. Uh, I think it's really cool. Anyway, we did uh, new laminate flooring throughout the entire home. This is our living room. Now this is an old uh, vintage Florida Keys type home here in Lake Worth. And it's frame and it's just got a lot of character to it. Um, but our garage is here. You kind of got a major step down here because we're on a, a raised platform, this being um, frame. And, um, but we do have a one-car garage. We threw another um, spare refrigerator in the garage here. Sometimes, like I mentioned in other videos, if you can um, keep the fridge in the house and clean it up and put it in the garage, people love having that spare fridge. Um, back here is our washer dryer area. Now what's funky about this house, it looks like this used to be a shower or a bathroom, but in here we did a brand new water heater. We got a stackable washer and dryer hookup, nice bright light and an exit door to the outside. Um, so we're real happy with the way the garage came out and we always paint the floors this epoxy gray. So now let me take you to the opposite side of the house. All right, now on the opposite side of the house from the garage, We've got two really large bedrooms. Uh, we went with white ceiling fans to kind of have a little bit of a vintage look. We've kept the doors um, that are two panel doors, you know, just a little older style. We've got, uh, it's hard to see here, but um, if you can tell, we've got the old style windows, like almost you would see in a historic home. And um, so we kept with the baseboards. So we really tried to keep, you know, the character that the homes in this area can have, but obviously freshen it up major new. So we've got our other um, second bedroom, our other second bedroom, the second bedroom, same thing, exact same thing. We always put in window treatments and, you know, give it that finishing touch and new um, switches and plates. I love to go with the square look. It's just more modern. And so you kind of mix that modern look with, you know, whatever the charm is you're going with. And then we've got a bathroom. We can't stage with the lid up. Um, and she went with a vintage look in here. I mean, I love this vanity. Uh, we actually had a female contractor working on this one. She kind of kept the walls on this light gray and completely redid the shower. We actually salvaged the tub and um, sanded it and painted it and it came out great. And then we did this new tile all the way to the ceiling with this cool design band and a new toilet. And so, you know, we add a little bit of staging. Um, our stager is not due for another few days, but we can't wait. We want to get to market. So now let me take you to um, the dining room, one last bedroom, and the amazing kitchen remodel. So that was the two bedrooms and one bath over here. Now we're in our dining room, which it should be obvious because our chandelier is hanging in our face. So we have a beautiful dining room area here. We step down into an addition that we have kept as a third bedroom because we have a closet in this corner. Now this had a drapery rod with like a shower curtain hanging on it. And so we put actual bifold door on here. Um, we kept uh, with a paneled look and new shelves. Now this door, you know, we didn't have a door on this room. So to really have it be a third bedroom, we made sure this resembled a closet and acted as one. And then we took a regular door and we added this molding on it to blend with the uh, double panel doors in the rest of the home. Um, come on back here I want to show you this kitchen and finally for the finale is the kitchen I love this kitchen 
for a small older home to end up with this much counter space and this much cabinet space is just amazing. The contractor did an amazing job here. Uh, one of the things we did with the refrigerator, the, the wall behind this refrigerator actually um, you know, was uh, jutted in some because it had shelves on the opposite side. So we got rid of the shelves on the opposite side in the living room that we don't need and it gave us more room to put a full size nice refrigerator backed in to match the countertop. So you can't even tell that we did that on either side of the wall, but it makes a huge difference. And then we put the granite, the tumblestone backsplash. I love the size of these drawers here. This is just awesome, you know, to have that much room in one drawer. And then this is real wood. They're self-closing. All the cabinets are that way. She had put, put the nice added touch with the glass fronts in the corners. When I came back through, you know, I wanted to kind of finish it off. I wasn't crazy about this the look of just boom, the window in your face, because you, when you enter the room, you enter it from the way you're looking at it now. So I asked her to add a valance, and I just think it kind of keeps with that vintage little style. And then, you know, the way that this all worked out, I just love it. So we're really, really thrilled with our final product. As a matter of fact, we haven't even hit the market, and I've had someone calling me like crazy to see it because we have the sign in the yard. And, um, we just finished showing it and we already have uh, a full price offer coming in on it. So now what are the numbers on this one look like? Okay, so we paid in the 90s for this house in the 90,000 something. And we're into it for about 40 grand in rehab. And um, we're li we listed it today, well we will tonight, I haven't even hit the market like I said, for 179.9. And um, these folks that came in, they're done. They didn't even blink an eye. They want this house. They've been following it. Uh, they live very close, and their uh, best friend lives next door. So perfect timing for me. So um, I've already put them with our mortgage broker, and um, you know maybe I can put this right into the MLS pending. I mean, the market is hot right now because there's not a lot of inventory, so it's time to take advantage of that. Anyway, if you're interested in working with us or becoming one of our clients, visit us at 32srealty.com and learn all about us. Follow us on Facebook.com Palm Beach Flippers to keep up with the progress on the renovations and learn while we uh, kind of learn sometimes too. Um, we love what we do and we love sharing it with you. So thanks for tuning in.